So tell me about this year's show um, and where you kind of gotten at to, up to this point in the season in San Antonio. Sure. Um, we went uh, west to California. We had a great time out there. Uh, the show is entitled The Wrong Side of the Tracks. Uh, it's basically uh, set in a dystopian area that's a train yard and we get a kind of a sneak peek in on this society that, you know, is maybe less fortunate or more fortunate, however you want to look at it. Um, and uh, we just get a 12 minute look at this society and who they are, what they do, and, and, and who they're about. What are kind of the really distinct characteristics that make up this society? Like, what are, what are you Very tying? tough, very tough society. Uh, very hard for them to let their hair down. So there's a sense of sinister, there's a sinister vibe to it. But when we really open up and are vulnerable, I think it means something because of the um, contrast from the beginning and end of the show. Yeah. How has it kind of changed and molded over the last few weeks? You started getting some feedback and, and um, you guys have been able to see it come to, you know, find the final product or what, right. it, what it was at the time. Yeah, how's uh, that process been? The judging feedback has been great. Um, obviously, we have a new ending in mind when we think about going out to California and then, you know, making our way back to the Midwest and, and taking care of business as far as, as how we want to create like a B parcel of the show, so to speak. So um, the feedback has been great. Uh, we're just really about excellence as an effect. We have a lot to clean, but we feel like the vehicle is there. The members are really buying into it. They understand it, they interpret it, they give it back to the crowd. So we're very excited. Yeah, so you say the, the excellence is the effect. Um, does that mean there's not too much more as far as production-wise going in and we're just cleaning, or what is that? Uh, there'll be tiny little nuggets that go in like everybody else, little caveats, but basically we're just going to clean, 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 clean. We feel like we have a long way to go regarding our um, our, our sense of uh, achievement, so we're very excited about that. Yeah, how did you feel about the run today? I was so excited for them. We had a great rehearsal today, and I thought the run was, was awesome, so I'm very proud of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. Um, now, going to switch over subjects. With the rule change, um, pulling DCI judges off the field, um, it's kind of changed the way that many groups are approaching staging and writing. Right. Um, how, as in your position, how have you kind of brought that to the Cavaliers and embraced it or not? Well, we have embraced it. We have an amazing uh, design team in Richard Hinshaw and Daniel Wiles. They've been very open to us um, saying, hey, we have some, it's different this year, so what do we think about some, some different scenarios? And from a sampling standpoint, it's been amazing. Uh, we're up front a lot. But it's, what it has created are some new opportunities uh, for um, cleaning the ensemble. Uh, some very difficult things where perhaps we would normally be behind the ensemble, but we're actually next to. So um, it's been a um, journey uh, by uh, every sense of the word, but uh, an enjoyable one at that. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious of what you think, you know, this how this will evolve down the road. I don't know. Uh, yeah, can you it's even? never fixed. It's always going to be broken. Uh, and I say that with all due respect and much love. It's like the less of the worst ways to do it. We're just continually searching out to make sure we're rewarding the performers. Yeah, awesome. Um, so, Tweaks said not too many production changes, but some minor things. What's, what's in the next couple days for the Cavaliers? Uh, you'll have to stay tuned in and find out.